But yeah, I mean, I've always been drawn to nature. Um, always the kid with the caterpillars coming out from school, and uh, it's just the act of like using your hands, working the earth, and seeing uh, seeing it transformed into something more than was there previously. And I didn't used to eat things like um, courgettes or even runner beans, but when you've grown them yourself, you kind of think it's a bit pointless not eating them so you can get stuck in. You know, I've had office jobs, I've had gardening jobs, and it's no, no contest really. I just enjoy being outdoors, um, having the sky above me, watching the seasons go by, and putting the graft in, seeing the results. Because I hadn't grown potatoes before and obviously they're underground so you don't really know, you're thinking are we going to get some, are there going to be any tangible results and then you stick the fork in, you lift the soil and they just appear like nuggets of gold, it's just so satisfying. It's, uh, not to mention taking away when eating them. Don't think I'll ever buy a potato again. My dream is to work uh, in a heritage garden um, for somebody like the National Trust or the RHS or English Heritage. Um, sort of a larger scale, more dramatic uh, landscape that I can influence. What someone like the National Trust or the RHS means to me is, well, it's a standard, isn't it? It's a benchmark, a sign of quality, which I aspire to. In the evening when I'm walking away, it's like a, it's like a pleasurable tiredness. It's like a, an ache that you appreciate. Um, you know, you don't mind the dirt under your fingernails, you don't mind the pain in your back, you don't mind the fact that you feel like if you bend over you're going to get cramp in your calves because you've been doing something you enjoy. So, it makes it all worth it, you know. <laughs>